Hello boys and girls. To my astonishment, it seems that tons of you want to actually see me show you how to do European Conqueror. Well, there's a little issue here that I already have far too high tech and I won't be, I won't start a new game just to show this off. So first of all, you have to notice Napoleon is quite a beastly general. You have a siege artillery here which already leveled. You've got a good cavalry here, and you've got an old guard, which I always said, old guards are quite amazing. So first of all, you'll try to send everything direction London, so... But how far this was the reach of the British cannons? Two, okay, so you... British cannons are a little annoying. Try to steer around the British cannon there. To go after London and send all... The naval attacks, first of all, to the ship, so it gets destroyed soon. An old guard, they should put an infantry general, so if you've got... You should put your infantry general, so if you've got Carl, put Carl, if you've got Washington, whatever. And try to crack it open. Now, next thing is, you've quite a good economy, so 800 gold to start with. What you can do is possibly build a grenadier, or you could also go for a siege artillery, or a ship, maybe? But usually, uh, maybe you can get one ship. Then you have to still maybe get this uh, artillery. I probably put on this general, so I'll put my Napoleon here. So one of the other points, which is very important, is try to just smash up London as soon as possible. Because the sooner you get London, the so the easier your game will be. So as my two Napoleons, I'll try to take out London as soon as possible. And don't forget, you have artillery increase damage, which is quite important. And I lost the way it was producing too many units because I didn't want to. Is the next part. Land your Napoleon. Do some juicy damage to London. And don't forget that this unit will not move if you don't kill it too early. So, like I said, this unit did not move. Perfect. So, I will use. Carl. To smash up London, if need be, it's the second time. And whoopsie daisy, I have landed in London. Now, this is a very important step. If you take London, you'll be doing well. The French artillery is quite good, so you might consider an artillery just to be able to smash up the cities. And you should take this haven, this port here, sorry, to try to then kill off Hood, because Hood will come after you as soon as you've taken London. As I've said, Hood has come, and I usually tend to just ignore him. Next step, take Birmingham. And I'm trying really hard in not to take uh, to build to use too many generals of mine because otherwise it'll just look too easy. Okay, so now here you should start building more grenadiers, smack out those grenadiers, and only target Hood when he's actually there. So just wait a bit, have a bit of patience. And I, with my Napoleon, will start attacking Birmingham now. So again, it's time to really smash up Birmingham. And start sending your weak navies over here and prepare to fight these navies here so you can get a good grip around Dublin. Really just focus, focus Birmingham. Now Hood is quite annoying, you just have to smash units against him to actually kill him. What always makes sense is to maybe set a Napoleon against him and smack him once because uh, Navy does some good damage against uh, ships. More Grenadiers, more attacking of the fleets. And yeah, you'll have to invest something to killing of Hood, because Hood is really annoying. But you can kind of still wait a little bit before you go send too many resources to kill off Hood, because Hood will stay around London, he won't run away, so there's no hurry there. Once you've taken Birmingham with your Napoleon, which is just really strong, it's your starting Napoleon is really good, and your Napoleon can be, or your artillery general can be very useful. 
So now that you have taken Birmingham, the interesting part comes where you send half of your army to take Glasgow and half to send Dublin. Now if you did it like me, you already prepared some ships to smack up the British Navy here and then you can start bombarding Dublin. And yeah, try to surround maybe some units because if you kill Wellesley on the British side, if you kill Wellesley, the enemies will all drop one morale. Or even two, it seems. So if I would be you, I would now try to send Napoleon over there for him to take Dublin, send still some units with him, start smacking up the city. If possible, place a unit uh, ship on this tile. And I killed off Hood, which now takes away all the butters in my world from this front. Because Hood is usually quite annoying to still kill off. And now I can just try to take out with my best infantry now, which is hopefully Carl for you or, or some good generals. You just go straight after Glasgow. Don't really bother with Manchester and this city too much. Just go straight after Glasgow if you can. As my Carl and Napoleon are rushing to their aims, to their goals. I'll just continue to smash up Dublin. Now what you also can do, which I forgot to do, which I don't really need to do, is when you, as soon as you capture London, use the princess which you have there. You can make a damage reduction, which can be super helpful if you're getting smashed up. If you're taking it really easily, you can also try to reduce costs. Usually Sophia is a good bet. And really just do that. That makes a lot of sense. Or you can make an attack increase. And the way I'm also doing it now is I'm transferring all my ships away from the area of London. Just renew uh, militia. Because now I'll just let everybody attack it here and it won't be taken London. But the enemies will waste a lot of resources there. So you could just, you could just focus all your units on Glasgow and Dublin. Just don't forget, every single turn, build a new militia in London, and London won't be taken. Now again, use half your army to take out Glasgow, which I've got a super strong car, so taking out Glasgow is absolutely no problem. But if you don't have such a good car, you'll need quite a lot more focus on Glasgow. Which is no problem, just have it. If you've got the resources for build an academy, build some blasts, build some... Uh, forced marches, everything you've got, everything you need. And as soon as you, you see that you um, are focusing very well on Glasgow, take Dublin. Send everything towards Dublin. And really only focus on the cities you actually need. So here now Glasgow will be super easy to take. I always found it easy to take Glasgow. Dublin is also annoying because it's next to the water. So now I took, I've taken Glasgow. It was very easy for me. My Napoleon could quite batch it up. That's a very bad thing. I played it quite badly. I could have played smarter, but it doesn't matter now. Now I'll just build every single unit. You know, if you've got like one city left, just send everything towards it. Hold your London. Don't forget, new militia every turn. Pay attention to the cities which you actually have to hold and not to those which you could hold. Like if I would lose some kind of French cities, which won't happen. No problem. Now, like I said, if you can take this port, that would be very helpful for you. It makes landing so much more easier. So I'll right now take this port. No British units can spawn here anymore. Don't forget, every turn, new militia in London. Really important, so important. And now, I could destroy Dublin with all my ships around it. Wasn't a problem. But I only, I only used, uh, don't forget, I have amazing generals and so much tech, but I only used two of them now, Napoleon and Karl. Which, admittedly, are really strong, but Napoleon isn't as much as a badass as other of my generals. But you're starting Napoleon, he is so useful. Make sure to use him to your advantage. 
Make sure to use all your journals and I restricted myself to not make it look too easy. Don't forget every turn, just first of all smash everything against London, take some damage, no problem, just take London. You've taken London, you send all your troops towards Birmingham. With some ships try to kill off Hood, but he's annoying. And then you've taken these two cities under casually killing off Hood. Like I said, you don't necessarily have to rush Hood. If you would now still, if Hood would be here bombarding me now, I would just go with my units uh, next to these um, coastal guns. I would just build a lot of coastal guns, build grenadiers or build some artillery and kill him off. Now, hold Glasgow. Just don't go after these two cities, that's a waste of time. Instantly go for Glasgow with everything you've got and then with the other half take Dublin. Tell me in your comments if this is any kind of helpful and I know it's not quite the same comparison with you with me but I try to make it as similar as possible. You really just have to need to focus those points and don't go after anything else. Anyway, I hope that helps you. Have a nice and bye.